guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I bought from Kate Spade on my recent trip to New York. Before I get started, I have got a couple of little notices for you. First of all, if you are one of my London subscribers and you fancy the opportunity of shopping my wardrobe, I am actually doing a charity sale this Saturday, Saturday the 18th of November, in Marlebone in London, in the Obain Cafe in Marlebone, and it's going to start at 12, cash only. So if you're around and you'd like to shop my wardrobe, then please do come along. There's going to be loads of amazing pieces there. So that's notice number one. And notice number two is that this year there's not going to be a vlogmas here on my channel. I'm not going to be doing daily vlogs throughout December because I'm actually going to be abroad on holiday for most of December. But instead, like I did two years ago, if any of you have been around since then, let me know in the comments if you have, and congratulations for sticking around this long. Um, I'm going to be doing the 12 days of Fashion Mumbler Vlogmas giveaways. So for the first 12 days of December, I'm going to be giving away some amazing prizes worth well over a thousand pounds in total, and that's going to be run between my YouTube channel here and my Instagram, which is Josie LDN. So if you're not following my Instagram, please, please do, because you kind of have to be watching my Instagram stories in order to be able to enter. I'm not going to give too much away, but it's a really cool way of doing it. I've not seen anybody else running giveaways like this, and it's going to be really fun. So definitely keep an eye on my Instagram from now, or especially from the 1st of December, if you want to be a part of my giveaways, and they're going to be open completely worldwide. All right, so now that my notices are out of the way, let's get started with the haul. So as you may know, I actually went to New York as a guest of Kate Spade, which was definitely a highlight in my vlogging career. I love Kate Spade so much. It's one of my favorite brands. I've loved them for as long as I can remember. It's one of my favourite brands of all time, so to be invited to New York with them was just an absolute dream come true. So these pieces that I've picked up are actually a mixture of gifts that the brand very kindly left me in my hotel room, another pinch me moment. They also gave us a gift voucher to spend in one of their flagship stores, and then I also bought a lot myself as well. So just for total clarity, that's where these pieces have originated from, so let's get started. This first piece was a gift, it was left in my hotel room, so 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 generous, and it is a beautiful grey velvet handbag. I absolutely adore this bag, I think the shape of it is so practical. I don't have any bags like this in my collection, and it's just so so beautiful. It's got really lovely chunky chain straps, um, a little clasp here, and then inside, pretty spacious, I was able to fit my vlogging camera, my purse, my daily essentials, and I wore this most of the time we were in New York, so huge fan of this. Another thing that I love about this bag is that the chain isn't too long, so if you're quite short like me, it kind of just hangs in the right place. You can obviously double up the chain and wear it um, over your arm if you want, and insert a few photos of me wearing it in New York here, just so you can see how I styled it as well. Next up is a pair of glasses, Kate Spade Eyewear Selection, it's absolutely beautiful, and this pair I thought was so stunning, I really love that whole geek chic look, so when I tried these on I absolutely fell in love with them. I don't wear frames all the time, but when I do I like them to be real statement pieces. So these I thought were absolutely beautiful, I know you guys aren't used to seeing me wearing opticals, so let me know what you think of these. Next is something that I bought in the, I think it's the Madison Avenue um, flagship store. Everything comes beautifully wrapped up in tissue paper. This is part of their Christmas collection. So Kate Spade, not only do they do fashion and accessories and eyewear, but they also have some really lovely lifestyle home bits as well, which is why I love them. They just cover all bases. This is what I picked up from their Christmas section, which was up on the third floor of their flagship store, and it is, as you can see, a sausage dog Christmas tree bauble. Charlie and I like to collect um, Christmas tree baubles that will remind us of certain trips and certain occasions, so this will always remind me of my trip to New York with Kate Spade. It's a beautiful white ceramic with these little doodles all over it, and then you've got a Kate Spade little charm on the top there, so just very delicate, very pretty and very classic too, so I'm looking forward to decorating our tree with this in the next few weeks or so. The next thing that I bought from the flagship store is an iPhone 10 case or iPhone X, whatever you're supposed to call it. I don't yet have the iPhone X, I actually uh, wanted to buy it in New York but no Apple stores had it yet, So, or they'd had it but it was totally sold out, so I'm just going to have to keep a hold of this one until I do manage to get my hands on the new phone. I got it with the clear back but with some gold kind of confetti circles on there, thought it was a really beautiful style. I would say 9 out of 10 of the 
the phone cases that I've ever had have been Kate Spade. I always think they do the cutest designs and this is no different. I think my first ever iPhone case was Kate Spade and I'm just so impressed that they already have the iPhone 10 case. They are so on it when it comes to phone cases. This one is called the Confetti Rose Gold Foil Phone Case and yeah. Need to hurry up and get my hands on the iPhone 10 so that I can use it. Next is another piece from the Kate Spade eyewear collection and it's a pair of sunglasses. We were so lucky with the weather in New York. It was beautiful blue, clear skies and very, very sunny. So I have a couple of pairs of sunglasses. This is a rose gold pair with a little cat flick on the edges, which I love. I find it suits my face shape very, very well. Um, and I wore these a lot on the last day. They're quite big for my face. I do have quite a slim face, but I love reflective sunglasses. I love that when you talk to people people when you're wearing reflective sunglasses. They don't know where to look because either they get like mesmerized by their own reflection, they just get a little bit flustered. So yeah, that's something really tragic that I find amusing about mirrored sunglasses. Next we have a notebook. This was another gift that was waiting for me in my hotel room. By the way, if you'd like to see what we actually got up to on the trip, I published my New York outfit diaries two days ago. I'll leave it linked up on the screen. So definitely check that out because you'll get more of a vibe of what we actually got up to. Um, but yeah, so this is a cute little Kate Spade notebook. I thought perfect size from my handbag. It's says put in a good word. I absolutely love Kate Spade stationery. I think it's great for those that just love the brand. Maybe the price points of the handbags and the clothing are a little bit too high but you still want to buy into the brand. The stationery and the phone cases and things like that are amazing for that. Certainly for me I just go crazy for their stationery. This I thought was absolutely beautiful. It's got um, gold foil on the edging and then just a very simple lined notebook. I like having a notebook in my handbag because you never know when inspiration might strike. In meetings it's nice to take notes. I think in here at the moment I just have my to-do list on the first couple of pages so I like to just write down all my thoughts so it stops them chugging round and round in my head so I find carrying a notebook very very useful. By the way, sorry it keeps getting lighter and darker but I'm filming this in natural light and it's a very weird day. The sun is either super bright or super dark so apologies for the weird lighting. Next thing to show you and a lot of you already spotted this on my Instagram and you told me that you love it, it is this gorgeous bag that says baby it's cold outside. I got this from the flagship store I thought it was absolutely beautiful and perfect for this time of year. Personally, I like to carry a small bag with me that has my essentials in it that are easy to get to, my Oyster card, my phone, my vlogging camera, and then for the rest of the stuff that I like to chug around with me all day, I love to have a big bag with me. So this one fits my extra layers if I want to have like a scarf with me or something, it fits my laptop, generally all that kind of stuff that sometimes you want to have with you if you're out in town all day. It's made of a kind of felt material, you've got the stitching in there and then you've got the gold Kate Spade logo embossed in um, like a gold metal there. Inside it's just got this one zippy pocket for your valuables and then it's just really big and open. It's got my receipt at the bottom of here as well. The handle length is really practical, it can go over your shoulder even if you've got loads of layers on. I think I had this chunky knit and a coat and then this still managed to get wedged over my shoulder but they're not too long that the bag can't be carried at full arm's length as well. So just a perfect bag, very very useful and I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of this over the autumn and winter months. This is one thing that I definitely did not need. I have a whole kitchen cupboard full of thermal flasks, but I couldn't resist it because it was a Kate Spade New York special. So it's a coffee mug, keeps your coffee warm all day, which is great during the winter months, and it's just a New York special. So it's got the flat iron district, the flower district, and I just thought it was a really cute design. So I picked this up and um, I will look forward to using this on winter walks and things like that. Now this might be a little bit lame to some people, but if you're obsessed with stationery like I am, you might get very excited over this. It is a desk kind of organization kit from Kate Spade. So in here, there's so many nifty little pieces. You've got paper clips, you've got pins, you've got a highlighter, a pen, post-it notes, mini post-it notes, which are so useful for like keeping your recipe page, for example, some clips, um, and I don't even know what those things are, but I'm very excited to play with them. This is another thing that I absolutely did not need. I probably have all of these pieces in my desk, but it's just so adorable having them all together. I think if you know any stationery lovers and you want to buy them something really special for Christmas, then this would be a really lovely gift idea too, but yeah, something that I did not need, but it makes me very, very happy. So as I mentioned, Kate Spade has home things as well as stationery, fashion and accessories. I picked up a couple of tea towels that say eat cake for breakfast on them because if I can inject a little bit of Kate Spade fun into my kitchen, then why not? So I actually got two of those. One of them is going to be a gift. 
Next in my little selection of goodies I have this little box and this is how your jewellery comes presented if you buy it from the Kate Spade stores. In here I have three pairs of earrings, actually I have two pairs, I've just realised that one pair is upstairs. Also in here, in my little pouches, so everything also comes in these cute little pouches, I bought a couple of pairs of earrings. This pair I thought was just very classic pearls with a little diamond underneath them, obviously not a real diamond. I also thought that the Kate Spade jewellery was very well priced, so these were $38, which I think is around 30 British pounds, so I thought that was pretty good for a pair of um, pearl, and they're probably diamante earrings, I just thought they were very elegant and classic. And then in my second little pouch, another pair of earrings, very Kate Spade, these are giant Swarovski crystals, and they look like they kind of have rose gold foiling scattered over them if that makes sense. I will insert a close-up so you can see them but they're just very beautiful delicate designs that I think will make a great impact so very very pretty. These again $38. Next up we have a Kate Spade candle. I love their candles. I find them the most beautiful scent and this is a really classic one so it's in their white votive and I think it's a lemongrass flavour. It's very very fresh that's for sure. Yeah this one is called Park so as you can imagine it's kind of freshly cut grass, a little bit citrusy, very very fresh and definitely quite unisex as well so Charlie won't mind me putting this around in the lounge, it's just very subtle with the Kate Spade logo down there and the Kate Spade iconic green colour inside too. Before I forget I'm going to mention the clothing as well, so this one I actually chose before going out on the trip, it's a beautiful black fluted knitwear piece, so I love fluted sleeves as you guys know and this has those which I think is just such lovely design detail, you've got this little knot detail up on the top neckline and then other than that it's kind of like a plain polo neck jumper so very practical I wore this with a grey um, felted skirt throughout the trip so over the screen now I'll show you a few clips of me wearing this in action I also styled it with my Club Monaco feather gilet and I loved how they look together this is a real classic piece so no doubt you'll be seeing me wearing this a lot in upcoming outfit diaries etc and probably my favourite piece of all of these pieces is my new coat so this I just think is so beautiful very very classic, it's got faux fur around the collar and on the sleeves too, I wore this a lot in New York, you may recognise it again from my Instagram, as soon as I got it I just wore it non-stop, it's so warm because you've got this gorgeous felted material, it's lined, it's got big pockets and then on the buttons there are these big embellished diamante gem effect buttons which is just adds a fabulous touch to the coat. Because it's grey I think it's very versatile but the faux fur and the buttons just give it some really lovely details too. This is quite an investment piece but I think because it's such a classic design it's one that you'll wear so much so price per wear on this one I think should be really really good. This was another gift that was left for us in our hotel room, it is a toiletry bag, black and white stripe um, and inside they very kindly left us some shampoos and conditioners which was very helpful because I actually forgot mine. So nice and roomy for all your essentials, a zip fastening, and then again you've got the little Kate Spade metal logo up at the top there. Okay this is a really fun one, I spotted these in the flagship store and as it was so cold I always get really really chilly ears so when I spotted these I had to get them. They are a pair of earmuffs, black and white, very classic, with pearls on the headband which is just the kind of design detail that I really really love. So I wore these, I do actually find it really hard to hear anything when I have earmuffs on, um, I wore these on our last day, the whole day because it was really really chilly, I think it went down to about 10 degrees which doesn't sound that cold but in New York it gets very windy so that was pretty chilly um, and I was very very thankful for these. And we're getting to the last few pieces now, I bought this from the flagship store, it is a card holder, the amount of times when someone has asked me for a business card and I've not had any on me and I find that very annoying and slightly unprofessional so I thought I would treat myself to this so that at least I have an excuse to keep my cards well protected and with me at all times. It just says hello on it and um, other than the black hello it's also so rose gold, so very pretty. This again I think would be a really lovely stocking filler idea, so everything that I've spoken about will be linked down below in case I've inspired you to pick up anything either for yourself or for a gift. The final clothing piece is this adorable jumper, it says baby it's cold outside, that's obviously one of the slogans that Kate Spade are rocking this season. I have a feeling this is sold out but I will try to find it and link it down below for you because again when I wore this on Instagram you guys absolutely loved it. This does come with a pair of black jogging bottoms, I haven't actually worn these yet but they'd be really nice to wear on aeroplanes or just lounging around the house um, but it is the top that I love the most. And in the bottom of my giant 
giant carrier bag. I haven't even been able to pick up the carrier bag yet to show you. Um, this is what I bought everything home in. At the bottom of the bag is just a few more pairs of glasses. Firstly, this round pair, which I absolutely adore. I think the round shape is beautiful, very kind of throwback to the 60s. They do definitely make a statement, but I absolutely love them. I think they're very cool, very flattering, and great for winter as well, because these are black. They'll be really nice, low winter sun sunglasses. And last but not least, a pair that I wore a lot in New York. I found these, again, really great for that low winter sun, and they are this almost leopard print design from Kate Spade eyewear. They have the little um, spade emblem there, which most of these sunglasses do. I just love that kind of very subtle design detail. These, once again, big statement sunglasses, but I absolutely love that. I think they're really cool, really flattering, really statement. And as I've mentioned so many times with sunglasses, I love that they don't have that little nodule here. So when you wear them on your head, like so, um, it doesn't pull all of your hair out when you try and pull them off your head if you've got your hair up in particular. So really, really love those and will definitely be wearing these a lot as my winter sunglasses. So that's everything that I picked up from Kate Spade on our recent trip to New York. I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through all these pieces with me. I feel very lucky to have had the opportunity to experience New York with a brand that I adore so much and they were so generous with what they gave to us as well. So I hope that you guys found this really enjoyable to watch. I love sharing these pieces with you and um, don't forget to check out my New York Outfit Diaries video which will be linked up on the screen and down in the description box below to see all the fun that we got up to. It really was an incredible, incredible trip. So thank you to the Kate Spade team if you happen to be watching. So that is all from me for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do give this video a thumbs up. It only takes a couple of seconds and it actually makes a huge difference to us YouTubers because it means that more people will potentially see our videos. So if you enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. And if you're new to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button. And that means that you'll be notified of all of my future videos. And I'd love to see you back here again very soon. So I hope you have a wonderful day and see you in my next one. Bye.